Ta-da! You like this desk? It's nice and clean, right? Let me tell you what's happening. So I, I'm on day four, day four of the ZMF release as of the recording of this. And the Viratays were day one and everyone sort of said, wait, you know, like the Viratays, did you burn them in enough? Did you try different pads? Did you try them on tubes? So I, I really, I burned them in for quite a while. And I'm, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I didn't burn them in enough. So since day one, we're now on day four, let's do 72 hours of burning additional burning and it's happening it's been happening for three days and i did it for two pairs um, i'm assuming you've seen the sony review at this point of the z7 mark ii's which i totally didn't like same thing uh people are saying oh you know we burn it you burn it and again i burn those in for probably like 15 20 hours like using them physically using them and nothing so here on the floor which is where um things go to live or die luckily these are very closed That's Sony's. And I could reroute this wire now that it doesn't need to be tucked out of the way. You actually can see the wires going off during a couple of reviews because I would lower the volumes, I would actually use it for music and then bring it back. And now here are the Viratays. Leave that with those stands. Shh, ready? Ta-da! Can I put this down without destroying anything? Good. So now, I could safely say these have had at least 100 hours of burn in each. Put that on the floor. This was just an empty box that I shoved it in and I covered it with a metal plate. So, um, I'm going to leave the wires that I have them on. I'm going to leave them in the amps I currently have them on. I trust that I own, even though people are like, oh, I'll put in penis. Shh. If I don't like a headphone, there's usually very good reasons for it. So let's go. Let's finally put on actual music. Rob Zombie's Jesus Frankenstein. I don't think I've ever heard that song. Let's just, I just, sorry, I need to take a break from doing my job for a second. Okay. Oh. Am I only on Zon? Oh, I had to repeat a similar track over and over again, so I don't want that. I had to repeat the pink noise. Hmm. See, I'm tr trying to get the flavor now. I'm trying to get the flavor of Sherlock Holmes OST. The second Sherlock Holmes, the Red Book. I know what I should be hearing. Still narrow, so I haven't fixed that. Mmm. A little bit of a mmm. A little bit of mmm. Siblings. Lyra Lynn. Here we go. My least favorite life. Let's hit that up. Keep in mind, I'm now forced to remember from at least four or five days ago, when the last time I heard these, if anything has changed. This is what burning is. It's actually moving the physical driver a shit ton and hearing if that's changed anything. And I believe in burning for a certain amount of time and then it will make it slightly different. Completely correcting a headphone's flaws? That's asking a lot. You know, I'm, I just... Mac DeMarco... Very soft. Ooh, Cliff Martinez on the beach from the Drive soundtrack. I'm just, I'm trying, I'm trying to do this listening live, and it should take me at least 20 minutes to make this decision. So I'm not going to record for 40 minutes. I'm just going to skip through a bunch of songs that I, well, my playlist. Wade in the water. Wade in the water. Come on. No. Must be the 
Uh, see, here's the thing. I believe in breaking, and I believe breaking can adjust certain things. If you don't like a headphone immediately, you should try to break it in with some pink noise. And then in two, three days, pull it off again and try it. Your hammer pulled you off. And if you really, if it's if it's like, ooh, if it gets just, just sometimes it's just a little bit of a push better. But these headphones, these especially, which I have to adjust when they're not on my head. Which are, it's another issue I should have. One, two, two. They're either the easiest to adjust or the hardest to adjust. Take your pick. No! Holy fuck, no, these might have gotten worse. Alright, let's assume that it's the output impedance of that now for a second. It's still narrow as fuck. Hold on. Alright. I had, to, I had to play left right to see if it was actually in stereo because those two songs sounded so balled up and concentrated. All right, no sound stage, still no sound stage. I did left channel, Mozart, twenty two hundred headphones. I'm just the title of this video should be "Burning Doesn't Always Help" or "Doesn't Fix Anything." Because he's like, and I could just, this should be, uh, this is three straight days of nothing but pink noise and a couple breaks when I played music whenever I came back to my desk. Because, you know, you're supposed to, like, take a break from pink noise because it'll overheat the voice coils. That's more on speakers and subwoofers than this, where they generate a little more. But... I love Survivalism by Nine Inch Nails. All right. No, let's go over here, and we're gonna do something else that they were like, "Oh, you gotta, you, they're they're perfect for tubes, Zeos. You gotta hit them up with them tubes." And I guess I'm gonna be including this Ruby background, which is that's in there. And the way I run my tubes is right here, off of that. Oh, fucking F5 isn't bound. I'll say this, they do sound, I mean, I know it's this particular song, it's Massive Attack, Exchange. Certainly warmer. Right, let's have a seat. Let's have a seat on Zeos's actual desk. This is very rare for a review. I don't do reviews here. Oh yeah. Okay, hold on. Oh, Rob Zombie. Nope. Nope. This Friday night, it's the incredible sitcom that has captured America's heart and given the whole country a new catchphrase. But I'm 42. Ooh, Monica Tari. So we got some real good. And it's still not that wide. Like, it's just not. It's just not. And this is. This is now the best case scenario tube you've ever come across. The $1,100 fucking DAC, and I'm just passing the signal through the THX 789 into uh, the Tor, which was my fucking pick of, the, of all tube amps of all time, because it has good tubes in it, and it sits there. And it's just not... That's nice. That's nice. See, I think the tubes do calm down a little bit of the harshness. There's a little bit that I was feeling. It's a, it was a little bit... But, sitting here right now... They ain't better than Aeolus by a fucking... They're still not better than Aeolus. They're still not just not better than Aeolus. No, they they don't have the they don't have the magic that I'm looking for. Sorry to give these a double a double negative, but I, I wanted to know if I would honestly tell you if I heard a difference and I'd completely re-review them if I thought that giving them an extra 72 hours of burn-in.
Nah. It's just... I gave them, I gave it, I gave them as much of a shot as I could. I gave them as much burn as I thought they needed. But now we sit here knowing that even after an exorbitant amount of burning, which I'd rather not have to do to all these headphones, um, they still just don't, they don't make go. So, this is my advice, this is my final thoughts on burning breaking of a headphone. If you get a headphone out of a box, and you put it on, and you listen to a track, and you go, wow, don't bother. They, you need nothing. And even if it's slightly a mental game, if you love a headphone out of the box, why fucking deal with it? Now, I'm one of those people who's like, I'll save the best bit of food for last on my plate and eat last. So even if you like a headphone, some of you are probably going, yeah, but what if I burn it in? It'll be even better. And you take it off, and you wait the two days, and, oh, and you put it back on. That's fine, but... If you like a headphone out of the box, just use it. The reason you do burn in, break in a lot is so that you get the finalized sound. And if you don't like a headphone, I suggest if you do not like a headphone out of the box, that's when you start running pink noise through it. You can find pink noise loops on YouTube um, or you just find a download. I don't know if, I'm sure you can find a pink noise generator somewhere on the internet. If you like a headphone straight away, don't bother burning them. If you don't like a headphone, or you think there's something like, like, like the harsh, there's very, it's for fixing very small things. If there's a little bit of a harshness to the treble, and you're like, ooh, that sibilance is sort of grabbing me, burn in. If you're like, oh, the low end's sort of lacking, burn in. If you think sound stage is lacking and it sounds crowded and it doesn't sound like it's worth $2,200, burn in can be tried, but it may not help you. So that's what it comes down to. And I don't know, it's the Sony's. The Sony's blow my mind more than anything. Because see maps with experimental drivers here. Sony knows how to make a headphone. And then they fucked it up. Okay, this has been a very strange, like, middle of the ground. Like, it's about headphones, but it's not about any particular headphones. And, like, I don't have to burn any of those, and they all sound great. Could they sound better? I don't know. It doesn't matter. They sound great. They were already he had as peak as I ever would need them, unless they're going to completely transform to like Gridman, Gridman. Then I don't need it. Wallpaper in the description, Patreon link in the upper right in the description. And the Patreon link funded this video because it took time to make it and I have to pay my rent. So if you'd like to join the Patreon, uh, there's a $5 tier and a $10 tier. The $5 tier gets you the yard sales, $10 tier private Telegram channel where me and my compatriots can giggle and sip wine and well, box juices sometimes. But uh, yeah, there's that. Uh, Hi-Fi guides, probably coming along. And we might even include a little thing on the Hi-Fi guides that when you pick a headphone, it tells you if it does require or doesn't require burning. Some of them do, some of them don't. Some of them just require it. Like I know the fucking Nighthawks need 150 hours and they say it. And everyone's saying these need it and they didn't change at all. So, uh, thanks for stopping by. Again, wallpaper, links, things, thanks, stuff, out.